Uh, Must be your Kemper this morning, it, right? It's a Helix. No way! It's a rare, special Sunday. Don't look at the screen, Brian. Look down at the lens. Lens. He's, Bradford's he's new. All well, the schools were out of power. Of power. So Brad and I are sharing the stage today. Brian and Walt book out and is Bradford here. Mitchell in the same room. Here's what I want to do today. Okay. I thought about this. I haven't even talked to you about it. Oh no. Let's make this Sunday vlog. This is the title. Either A, what's better, Helix or Kemper? Or B, what should you buy, Helix or Kemper? Well, I have... I think B is the more appropriate question, because A doesn't have an answer. <laughs> A doesn't have an answer. So we're all just showing up here. It's 6.07, call time is 6.15. About to start our pre-service meeting, but thought I'd draw attention to this sweet detail. Hopefully someone fixes it. Every time I plug this in or any of these things, you have to update the firmware. And it's like the app updates, it probably updates automatically on my phone. So the app is like it's one certain level and the firmware on the thing is at a different one and it's like incompatible firmware. And now I'm, I've been at 99% updating. Like for about 10 minutes now. The technology is great until it doesn't work. I'm gonna turn it all off and back on. That's what you do. And then you blow in the cartridge. Yeah, that was uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Checking firmware. Now I have to recalibrate. Rotate the aircraft horizontally. Move away from other things. Now rotate it this way. I think we're good. So we finally got the thing up in the air. But then we have to go to run then through. Then we gotta go like do something else to run through. <laughs> Ain't that how it goes? Yeah, come out when I'm praying. We're supposed to be on stage. All right, we got like two minutes, so. Less than two minutes, LA. Yeah, less than two minutes. 151. Let's stand to our feet. We're gonna declare how good God is together. This is the day He's made. Let's rejoice together. Come on. Standing on an incline, and I think I'm looking at the look at the video. You're still taller than I'm me. I'm still taller than you. <laughs> I think we heard a gunshot back there. There are woods behind us. Yeah, but or, there's a neighborhood even further. Should you buy a Helix or should you buy a Kemper? Yes. I think this is the first question you need to answer. Do you have a pedal board that you want to keep using that you like? And that that could answer the that question determines, right now. I think that determines almost everything. Well, almost because almost. now the HX Stomp is here. Yeah. Okay, so we've got nowhere. That, we've got that nowhere. That throws a kink into things. <laughs> so Brad is a Kemper user mm -hmm. with a pedal board. Yes. So Brad Probably has like 90% of the time now. Traditional pedal board. You take a picture of your pedal board, send it to me before Wednesday, and I'll put it in, I'll put it in this video so they can see what we're talking about. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then uh, I am a Helix user, primarily. primarily. I've used the Kemper. I had about a month with the Kemper, and I used it with the remote. Mm -hmm. I used it with the Helix as well but I liked it mostly with the remote. So here's here's the thing. If you have a pedal board that you love, the Kemper's a great option. Yes. And you can use it as an amp. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Just the way you would use an amp. Yes. Um, what if you want an all-in-one solution? My vote is not <clears throat> Kemper for all-in-one. By Kemper, definition- Kemper limits you a little bit. It, well, that's also true, but by definition it's not all-in-one. 
So you got to buy a remote. You have to you buy, have to the, buy remote. the remote. You do, like you can't Which is like another five hundred for virtually. If you get the combo right straight you out can the gate, only get it from Kemper or used. Yeah, or used, but they don't show up used much. They don't. They and when go, they do, people price and they're them still four hundred some dollars. Yeah, yeah. So the Kemper remote, the Kemper remote works well, especially if you program things per song. I think that's the best way, like but, almost only way to really do it. Yeah, but it is hard to program it to have like a, we have a, a pat uh, a perf they're called performance we have a performance it's like a general use mm -hmm. could get you through but it's not nearly as flexible as the helix mm -hmm. no okay so hx stomp yeah that's if you have a pedal board now you're and you want a direct digital solution for amps now you're now you've got questions you got to answer yeah because you can go a kemper for how much is a kemper uh say 17 1700 New or you can buy an hx stomp for six hundred dollars, and you can run stereo Helix amps. Two amps. So the the Kemper you can run stereo, but only stereo effects. Only so it's like stereo a studio effects. thing. Yeah. And the HX Stomp comes into play, and it actually kind of is like, I'll see you amp mod mod uh, modding modeling, and I'll raise you one. <laughs> so this video isn't about HX Stomp, but it does throw a wrinkle into the question: What should you get? Yes. Now here's here's the thing that you get with Kemper that you can't get with Helix. Kemper is basically any amp that anybody has ever profiled that or makes them available. one that you want to profile. Or if you have yeah. an amp that you can profile it. Um, and so you can get amps on the Kemper that you cannot get on the Helix. Oh, yeah. Now, the question that I think most people are wanting us to talk about. Mm, I know where you're going. Is which one sounds better. Mm, I just got one recently. Yeah, Brad just... Just got himself a Helix. I just got one. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm using it today. Cue live. photo of Brad with the Helix like it's Christmas morning. <laughs> I was so excited. For the first time yesterday was the first time I sat down with a Helix and said, okay, I'm going to start fresh. Mm -hmm. Opened up a new preset, dropped my amps in, dialed it in the way I wanted to do that. I did a matchless and a deluxe reverb. Mm -hmm. I, use it, I use an IR. This patch is coming, by the way. It is. We're going to tweak it a little bit more. I, I, there's some things live I'm noticing I may want to tweak. Um, I added and all the delays and verbs myself. It today. I am. Yeah. 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 I'm piloting it right now. And I'm realizing to that end that if you just spend time with either one, you can't go wrong. Yeah. There's no answer. Yeah. So I I think personally, I have a Kemper and I like it. And and it's like you plug you get a great profile, you plug your guitar in, you strum a chord and it sounds yeah, you don't have to amazing. do much. That's the goal. Helix, you gotta put some more work into it. Mm -hmm. I think you can get the Helix to sound pretty much indistinguishably good. Mm -hmm. It'll sound different because the amps are different. Yeah. Now here's the next question. Who's, what, which effects sound better? The Kemper has great effects, by the way. I think it's a wash, personally. I, now, if Helix I had Helix is way more flexible with what you can sure, do with absolutely. and how many you get. Yeah. But Kemper's effects that you have in there, mm -hmm. drives, compression, modulation, reverb delay, yeah. they sound great. The, the drives the drives in the Helix, I think, are a lot better, too. They're, they're a good. lot, they're, they, they have, there's more options. And Apparently Kemper's helping us with that, though. But when it comes to what effects, that is where it gets a little harder to the detect, distinguish. the distinguish. And that's what a lot of worship I guys really care more Kemper about. I think the Kemper has like a warmth to it that the Helix yeah. kind of lacks. Yeah. You can get it if you really tweak, but the Kemper's reverbs and stuff just are really lush and warm. Yeah. Helixes are too, but sometimes I feel like I prefer Kemper's. Sometimes I feel like I have to tweak way too much to get it to sound... On Helix or Kemper? On the Helix to get it to sound the way I want. But they both will sound excellent. Yeah, I'm using them today, and it so, feels close to at home. So what's the verdict? It depends. Yes, there is depends no on verdict. How, what you have, how you want to use it, and what your end game is. I think if you want all-in-one, Helix is the way to go. It's hard to beat. If you basically want a solution to replace your amp so you can go direct, mm -hmm. the Kemper is excellent and it's and it's easy. hx effects is also excellent it's true we are we're, we're getting I mean, we haven't even soon. played it yet but yes. we know what it does because we know helix so yeah. hopefully that helps you mm. or confuses you more i don't know ask that's, us questions that's fine. we'll answer them we in will. the comments below yes yeah, so yeah, i just got a, an email that i received in order from the uk so the so i sent him an email back i said hello tim thanks for purchasing are you tim hughes of worship central like the songwriter tim hughes you mean the guy whose song you cursed in while you were singing it <laughs> if he says he is i'm gonna thank him and i'm gonna send him the video of me singing happy day it was an honest mistake 
it. And I'm, I mixed up the word sing and shout, and I inserted... You combined the two. I inserted a, a curse word in my worship set. Out of the mouth, the heart speaks, Brian. <laughs> out Tim Hughes was not Tim Hughes from Worship Central. It was a different Tim Hughes at a different church in the UK. Thank you for purchasing pads, Tim. Anyway, that was funny. It was not Tim Hughes from Worship Central. Mm, but you know what I think we should do, since I teased it to the good people of YouTube? We should put in what happened put the, clip in. the last time I ever sang Happy Day. Yes, the last time. It was time. like year, Brian, four we'll years ago. I mixed up the words in the pre-chorus. One time it goes sing it out, the other time it goes shout it out. And you combine them. I started to sing sing. No, I started to sing shout. shout. We were supposed to sing and sing. sing. And, you you and so the middle I sing. sang the beginning the, and the end of shout and the middle of sing. Here's the censored version for your, your enjoyment. Use your imagination. <laughs> There's a lot of line six on the stage. Brad's Helix, my Helix. Our other guitar player was playing HX Effects into a Kemper. What is this from Hope Town? What does that mean? Be on your guard. What does it say? Be, be on your guard. Luke 1215.